Mr. Carlin, um, we know a lot of your comedy comes from things that really piss you off. What are some of the things that really piss you off that you haven't really talked about on stage lately? Well, um, it, you catch me short because I don't have my computer at hand and I can't go look for a lot of stuff. Um, I'm blessed with some pretty deep files. Um, I, 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 do, I, I don't suffer writer's block, believe me. I, I, uh, this current show I'm doing, I went in there and I dug out the whole 75 minutes all at once and, uh, well, in, in, during a, a week's time, took it all out and began doing it the way it was, you know, those 75 minutes from scratch. So I'm very proud of that productivity record. But um, I think it's not so much <clears throat> what I've, I'm angry about, because anger in, implies that you have a stake in the outcome, that you care. And I don't really care. I don't. I, f I mean, it comes across as anger, you know. I, obviously, there's a, there's a, a theatrical, there's a heightened kind of intensified theatrical anger that you need to convey these thoughts. But I'm not personally an angry man. I'm not personally angry about these things. I think they're, they're wonderful because I root against the species. I finally, I finally came. I came to a realization, and this freed me as a, as a writer. This was part of that transformation in the 90s. I realized I didn't really care about this outcome on this planet. I didn't care what happened to the species. I think this is a species that was given great gifts and had great potential and squandered them. I think this species squandered them. I think it shows poor ways of organizing itself, socially and politically. I think it made a wrong turn when it came to buying the, the okie doke that the spiritual leaders gave, the, the high priests. We turned it over to the high priests and the traders. It's commerce and religion that have ruined and, and, and spoiled the potential of this, uh, of this species. And in this country, the same two things are true, but this country is writ large, and this country is the leader in the decay of the soul, if you will, just I use that metaphorically. Um, it, it's just, and I just don't care what happens to this country. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. So, and you know what the anger, the only anger there is, and I recognize one in my voice there, you know what that is? It, it's really a, a, a reflection of disappointment and disillusionment and, and being let down by my species. You know, we had such great possibilities and they're not being realized. You know, they talk, you know, talk about poets and philosophers and well, aren't there, yes, there are. How much influence do they have? None. There are more people writing poetry in America than there are reading it. Imagine that. Well, I guess that's true in a lot of fields, but. <laughs> It's, it's just, I think that's the anger. It's a frustration. It's a, it's a letdown, you know? It comes from, you know, how could you do that? That's why I usually always use the second person, you know? I talk about the audience and I say, how can you, you know what you did? You know, I don't say, you know what we did here in this country. I say, you know what you people did? I put it on them. It's not my problem, <laughs> you know? So anyway, that's just a taste of, of, of what eats around the edges for me.